Hey guys, so today we're having a look at the Boss SD1 and the Ibanez TS9 DX. Now in the video that you just saw, I used these overdrives in the typical metal boost fashion which is level all the way up, drive all the way down and tone. I set it on both pedals at about 2 o'clock and then I re-amped the same performances through my PV6505MH, zero EQ, zero if, if, any like fancy studio magic on the guitar tracks, there's nothing. Just a little bit of compression and limiting on the master bus to get it nice and loud. And that's about it. That's all the editing that I did with that track. So now I want to have a look at the pedals into the clean channel of my PV6505 MH and just see how they react. And let's fiddle around and yeah, let's just make some noise. So, here's my clean tone. Fairly standard. This is my Don Master DMT um, guitar, and in the video was my Lane Smith Zyrus. Awesome guitars. And here you go, here's the Boss SD1 and the TS9. Both of them, all of the settings are set to noon. That's kind of how we're going to start out. So, there you go. The SD1 kind of has a bit more top end bite to it, and the TS9's got more of a lowish mid range bump to it. Which, depending on the application, it doesn't make it a good or a bad thing. There's just observations. So, if I go on the TS9 and throw a bit more tone up and maybe a tiny bit more drive. <laughs> It's still a little bit dark in comparison to the SD1, I think. Let's turn down the gains a bit. Let's have a look. A little less drive. Keep the level the same. Put the tones back to noon. Let's have a listen. One thing that I found interesting is actually, if you go back to noon with the SD1 and then boost it with the TS9. So SD1 on and the TS9 is on with the drive zero and the level maxed out and a little bit extra tone. Let's see what that's like. <laughs> pretty cool I actually kind of like boosting the two but now let's go over to the distortion channel of my amp so basically let's go drive zero level full same with the TS9 I find that 
the SD1 gives you a bit more attack. <laughs> And we go the TS9. Yeah, there's definitely a little bit more attack with the SD1 at the same settings as the TS9, but if you pop up the tone a bit, it there's still that little mid-range bump that the TS9 is always famous for. And yeah, I, th I just, look, I picked this up for 350 Rand, that's like, currently $24 um, for the SD1 locally and I just thought why not just do a little shootout let's see what does what I mean yeah I think the SD1 is pretty cool I literally just bought it because it was cheap it was cheap and then I just decided to throw this video together for you guys thank you very much guys for watching if you like what you see please subscribe and support the channel I appreciate every single like view subscription everything Thank you very much, guys. Have a rad day. Cheers.